Hey everyone, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about mineral deficiency. Um, there's a lot of posts I've been doing about mineral deficiency related to adrenal health and thyroid health, and I wanted to actually show you one of my tests. Um, I've done this test on myself numerous times, probably for about a year and a half now. Um, I think I've done six maybe now. Um, this one I'm gonna show you was my second test. The very first one was really, really bad. Second one got a little bit better, but I just wanted to show you um, kind of what I'm talking about when I'm referring to adrenal and thyroid health and how it relates to minerals. That's something that's not really talked about a lot. When you think of thyroid, especially, you think of blood testing um, and adrenal health. You don't really think of doing hair testing for um, adrenal health either. So I wanna show you a little bit on a test what, what I mean by that. So this was my, this was my second test. Um, <clears throat> this is what my minerals look like here. And then these second page um, are some of the ratios that I'm gonna talk a little bit about. But the first four minerals here are kind of what I talk about. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium. Um, calcium is a biggie when it comes to thyroid health because when calcium gets really built up in the hair, that means it's also in your body as well, other than just being um, in the hair. Calcium is supposed to be in your bone and your teeth. That's where majority is supposed to be. So if it's in your hair, it means it's, it's everywhere else. That is not good for the thyroid. That will really make the thyroid even more sluggish. On mine, this one here says I have calcium at um, 98, if you can see that there. Um, my first test, I think my calcium was like 140 something. Uh, when it starts getting really, really high, you start calling it a calcium shell and it just means it's it's um, forming these little like calcium deposits. They're all over. Um, they're starting to also see that calcium could calcium deposits like that could be um, what also is contributing or related to fibromyalgia. But I do really notice with the calcium show how it really, really messes with slowing the thyroid down. The other one that relates to thyroid is um, uh, potassium right here. So my potassium on this test was a one, which is really lousy. Um, you need potassium to help activate um, the thyroid hormone. So you have T4, which is your inactive thyroid hormone, and you have T3, which is the active form. It needs to get converted from T4 to T3. Um, one of the things that potassium is really good at is it helps with that conversion. If you have low potassium, it's not going to convert very well. So this is one of the scenarios where my thyroid te blood test um, kept coming back pretty normal. I was actually on thyroid medication, so it was making my thyroid look normal when I would get my blood test back. Maybe showed it just a tiny bit sluggish, but the symptoms I was having did not correlate with um, my blood test. So I knew something else was off. And when I got this back, this really pretty much confirmed it. So I started um, taking some things to help push that calcium back into the bone. I started taking the absorbable forms of potassium, um, which that's very important when you're um, taking potassium, that it needs to be a specific form and how you do it. Um, and my um, next test after that was significantly better, so much so that my doctor said I needed to lower my thyroid medication. So that's where that, that's why I kind of wanted to show you this, what I mean by how that's connected to the thyroid. Now, as far as the adrenals go, um, if you look on this page here, um, sodium is right here. My sodium number was an eight. I like to see that way higher than that. And sodium is super, super important for adrenal health. It really gets them driving. Um, I have had people tell me that they're just exhausted, thoroughly exhausted, fatigued, cannot hardly function, can't get their head up, head off the bed, uh, off the pillow in the morning, just really have a hard time getting going. Um, thyroid function might actually look okay, but they just, the thyroid stuff isn't just, isn't doing it. So that's when I go, okay, you might have an adrenal connection there too. The thyroid and adrenal do have a really big connection, by the way. They kind of feed off of each other, which is what you see on a lot of these tests is when you see slow thyroid, you usually are seeing slow adrenal, not always, but majority of the time, that's what you're seeing. So uh, the uh, t uh, sodium will help boost those adrenal glands. And there's a specific way that I have you do that when it comes to that as well. Now, sodium's gotten a bad rap because there's table salt, which is not a good form of salt at all. I particularly, um, I like uh, Celtic sea salt. That's my go-to when it comes to sodium. Pretty much everybody should take in Celtic sea salt, but depending on where you are with your results would depend on how much you need to take in. There's other things that you also can do for your adrenals when it comes to your, your test that might be feeding into um, why that sodium number um, is way off and throwing your adrenals off too. So um, this is such a really, really good test. It's a super cheap test to get so much information. And on that second page, I talked a little bit about, these are um, some of the significant ratios I look at. So for example, the 
um, calcium potassium ratio is the big one that I look at when it comes to thyroid health. My number was a 98, that is significantly high, saying that my thyroid was really low. And sodium magnesium is another one that I look at that's for adrenal health, and mine was completely bottomed out. So again, the they, adrenals and the thyroid were totally feeding off of each other. Um, but like I said, super, super easy test, very, very cheap test. Um, it's kind of my go-to now when I'm really having someone who's just struggling with weight loss, can't, can't really get going, um, really know there's something else going on, especially for the people who say, my doctor says my thyroid looks normal, or they just had their TSH checked and nothing else with their thyroid. Um, so this is kind of a really, really easy way to look at it. Um, and, and we can address things, lifestyle changes, eating style, um, certain supplements, things like that, that can really help with the adrenals and thyroid without doing medication, without having to go through a doctor and all that jazz. So if you have any questions, definitely reach out. This is my absolute, absolute favorite way to help sort of address these. Um, and again, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about eating style and all that. When it comes to this testing, it I, I make it very, very simple and easy to follow. And obviously it's gonna be person specific. So definitely give me a shout out. If you need any help, I'm here to help you.